Welcome to our first roundup of games from the Ludum Dare, or Ludum Dare, depending on how you want to pronounce it. So these are five of the best games, all on the theme of running out of power, starting with Pipe Trek, a kind of like a little puzzle game, and we're based around Star Trek and also Pipe Mania. So we've got to fill all the five flashing things up with blue goodness. Um, don't let these things go down to the bottom, otherwise bad things happen. And ships attack. We've got um, incoming torpedoes, so let's actually start dragging and swapping around. Right, we've fed a life support. And uh, now just get over to the right. Hang on, where am I going? We need to go upstairs. Oh god, hang on. Let's go up. This is going the long way around. We're going to get hit by a torpedo in, what, 300 metres? 200 metres? Oh god, we're going to get. Things are going to blow up. Oh! And yes, everything's got rearranged. Although it's actually helped us <laughs> in this respect. There we go. Now I just need to. Okay, I need to repair the damage and also continue our mission. So, well, life support's good. So, we're not all going to die in a tragic blaze of piss um, or whatever happens in Star Trek these days. Uh, oh, we've just connected to summit. Not quite sure what we connected. We have actually connected the weapons. So, we are actually busy firing at the, the baddies and their shields are weakening. Let's try and get down to the shields, actually, because we probably do need them. There we go. Our shields are strengthening. Let's try and get our hull repair sorted. Um, hang on. Uh, um, 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 um. Yeah, we need a... Yeah. Ah, bug! <laughs> Things went south. Oh, no. Okay. Right, oh, th that kind of, like, helped us in that respect. Oh, yeah. it's okay. I think we're all good now. Uh, oh, actually, we're doing very well. Look, we're connecting everything like balls, um, so to speak. And nearly... Oh, fledging nuggers! That's the word now. Oh... So this is a medium difficulty. I've only tried this on the on the um on the easy so far, and suddenly things are getting real. Well, as real as Star Trek can get. Look, we've connected everything up. Right, promotion. I've done it. I've uh, somehow. <laughs> um. Oh, right. Good. I think. And everything's connected, so we're all good. So we can carry on doing it until I don't know the bloody sun explodes or something. I should turn out to be better than on the medium mode than it was on easy. Hooray! Hooray for me. Anyway, get on with it. Oh! This is Ministry of Synthesis. It's a puzzle game involving waveforms where you have to match the waveform that's being output to the target one over here. This one's obviously the first level, so I mean, it's dead easy. And the door opens and lets us into the next puzzle. Right, so I need to make everything match the red one. So we're starting with these two waveforms over here. And well, all, it, all I can really do now, apparently, is add them together. Uh, let's have a look. Put that in the bottom one. This one in the top one. Square and triangle makes kind of wonky square triangle waveform. You can also press C and see what the waveform is inside each individual component. God only knows what that means, but it's very important. Oh God, here we go. Uh, there we go. And that matches and everything is groovy. Let's carry on into here. So, oh God. All right. So things are a bit more. Well, what the hell's going on here then? That's, um, hmm. Well, let's. Let's experiment a little bit. So let's put that into there. And then see what that looks like. It looks like it's reversed it. Oh, which is good because the final... The final thing over here looks like it's got a bit of reversal stuff going on. So let's put that into the addition thing. Over there. And put the output from this... There we go. Into here. And hopefully... That's... I think the orange one is the one we're looking at. Yeah, that looks like him, the red one. Okay, let's connect that up. Yes. Oh. No. <laughs> this is going to become too clever for me, like, immediately, isn't it? So we've got four outputs this time. Um, one of them is an XX. Oh, sorry, I guess whatever's in the top goes into the bottom. Okay. Let's try putting that into the bottom one. Uh, and that one into the top. And then this one, maybe... I don't know, what do we need? It's, we, it needs to be kind of based on the top one. But, okay, let's... Um, yeah, that's no good. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, that's got all over the place. That's no good. It, it needs to be squared off, you can see. Uh, there's a certain amount of squaring off that needs to be done with this wave. So let's try this one. Over here. Put that into... I'm going to ignore that weird, weird one. I don't like the look at that one. Right, let's see what that looks like. That's looking like it could be it. But it's not. It's not quite there, look. Yeah, there's a certain... 
it looks like we're going to have to introduce the other thing as well. I have no idea what I'm doing. Shit. Uh, oh. Right, so if that's multiplication and that one's addition, that one starting to look very similar to the blue line. The orange line is looking similar to the blue line. It just looks like it needs to be made bigger. So I'm reckoning all we have to do is now multiply the two together. I say multiply, I don't know if that's true or not. Uh, let's go to the top one here. Oh, that makes it even worse. That's terrid. Yeah, that's nothing like it. Hmm. Oh, I don't know. Zombies and RVs. Uh, this is one where I've, I've been seeing the GIFs, or GIFs, um, on Twitter um, since the um, competition began, and it intrigued me because there are zombies and RVs in it. Hello. Wait, what do you want? Oh my god, you've only got a head! First time of playing this. Oh, here we go. This is me. Uh, I'm, I'm topless and I'm blonde. This is action central. Oh, oh, shh. No. Ow, 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 ah, ah, zombies, zombies, zombies. Oh, wait, that's, that's it. W to jump. Right. Okay. Okay. Everything's fine. I'm um, Harvey. Okay. Ah. Right. Shoot, 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 shoot. Reload. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. What's the lose condition here? I want to do a truck. Oh, an RV. Get out of here. I think actually my hearts might be in the bottom left. So I think I might actually want to run away from this. Okay, jump on the bloody... Get, get on top of the thing. There we go. Oh, God, there's a pileup. There's an absolutely massive pileup. Okay, stay on here. Stay on here. Ow! I got taken to God knows where. I think I lost. Right, I'm going to be better at the game this time because now I know what's going on. I'm going to be terrible. Right. Here we go. This is more like it. Oh, here we go. This is... Reload. Oh, you're supposed to actually reload. That's fine. Oh, no! Right, stay there. Stay there. Right. Hold on top of me. Okay, that's not good. Right. Okay, I'm actually I'm going to skip on, I think. This is like Cluster Truck. Only 2D and zombies. And nothing at all like Cluster Truck. Oh my god, there are legs! A little rain of legs. That's not very biblical. Jump. Okay, let's go. Let's move onwards. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of this cheap B-movie. Oh no, I, I can't. I can't. I can't outrun the RV. I'm being pushed. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Again, there's a progress thing at the top. Um, maybe I have to carry on. Maybe that's... Oh. <laughs> I've won. I think. Extended mag, big bullet, or buff heart. Let's go for big bullet. Spent two gas, for whatever reason. And apparently, I, I somehow... Well, how did I win? Let's kill them. Kill them. Kill them. Oh, this... What do you mean, big bullet? I can't see any big bullets. They're the big bollocks, more like. This, this is fun. Look at me. Look at me. I'm gorgeous. Hell train. Right, I've had a quick go at this, and thank God I did, because otherwise I wouldn't know what the bloody hell is going on. Uh, so, yeah, we, you know, we put some coal into the train. It's a nice coal-powered train, inevitably. And um, we stay at 195 miles an hour, so long as we're doing this. But that's no good, because we're a bank robber. We're bloody tough, we are. So I'm going to rob them. I'm going to rob these people blind. Right, first of all, we'll go for standard class, uh, where all the rickety things happen. Look at all this cash. They've got $9 each. Uh, but I am slowing down. The police are actually... Oh, God, okay. The police are actually pricking me off something rotten. So come on. Let's put some more coal in, and the police recede into the distance. Take that, the fuzz. Right, have you got any... Oh, I've stolen all their cash. Okay, so let's go on to... Um, this is like a um, premium economy. Uh, these are going to give me a bit more cash. Look, it's like um, 20... Well, it's 13 quid a go. 13 quid a pop. Uh, but the, the bar is slower. Apparently these um, premium economy people can't reach for their wallets as fast because they're fat and slow, slow and sluggish from all those free treats that you probably get in standard economy. I don't know. I only, I only usually travel on the roof. Right, here we go. Let's um, sort this out. We've got 190 quid already. I wonder if I've got bullets. It looks like I've got bullets on the right there. I actually tried to point that out with my finger, but I am aware that I'm actually capturing a computer here. <laughs> Not my finger. Here we go. Come on. Right, look, come on. 207 quid. 219. Come on, this is good. This is good. This is good. Although we will have to do another, do another coal run very soon. But look at this, look at the top, I'm actually almost at my destination, which I presume is El Dorado, Shangri-La, or, I don't know, um, Bradford. Right, let's grab, grab some more coal. We're actually almost there, so it looks like there's a bit of 
Um, bit of a risk reward thing. I sh- maybe if I'd gone for the um, the rich pricks, because we're now going into a um, business class now, and we've cleaned out all the plebs. Now we're going for Johnny McFucking businessman with his million prostitutes and his gin shoved up his ass and his wallet. That's fatter than you. Apparently, I've actually reached the end. I took 330 quid, which clearly isn't as much as you can actually get. If I'd started with the um, the pricks at the back, I would be even richer and I could retire um, and, I don't know, blow a, a cow. And finally, we have Saturnalia, or Saturnalia, however you want to pronounce it. Right, so this is, um, by all intents and purposes, a weird, inexplicable game where you don't really know what's going on, you have to interpret it yourself, but it, it looks absolutely gorgeous. So as far as I understand it, you just the main thing is that it, it's prompting you to always click at the kind of like the, the cursory thing. Now this isn't the proper game yet, I think it's just um, setting the mood. Look, here are the mirrors, here's the setup of everything. So click all those presumably. And we have ourselves, ooh, a thrusting thingamabob. Which, click on that, is now going up, I think, sh- shooting things up into the sky. Now things become uh, a bit more kind of what the hell is going on. You have to work stuff out and do some puzzles. Alright. Hmm. Am I doing this right? Try over there. This looks like a sort of like a. a Sort of like an experimentation. Oh god, there we go. Uh, right. Is that any... Does that make sense? I'm not sure it makes a huge amount of sense. Oh, there we go. That looks like I've succeeded doing something. And now apparently Saturn is getting in on the act. It's looking. It looks like it's looking down on me. Okay, let's go back. And presumably I now have to do something else. Looks like there's another one over to the left. Yeah, here we go. This is, looks like um, a secondary puzzle. Uh, huh. No. Right, back over here. No. Over there. Yep, there we go. Do I click that? No, I don't. Uh oh, what's what the bloody hell is this? Saturn is looking right down on me now. Oh, hang on, we're back here. Okay, let's try going back. See where now where it's going to take us. Down here. Uh. <laughs> now we get stuck. Oh no, here we go. Oh, ah, we're going into space. We've been launched into space. Ah, it looks like a, um, well, we've got a new puzzle here. Oh, no, this is, um, this is going to be, like, ten times harder, isn't it? No. I can't quite see so far there's any, it's just like a, um, trial and error sort of puzzle. Because there's no way I'm actually, um, puzzling anything out. But I've done it, whatever it is. (laughs) <laughs> Maybe it's Uranus. <laughs> and apparently, I think I seem to remember reading that's actually it, because uh, I said I can on the on the thing that I read. And um, as soon as you actually see the credits, um, that's the end of the game. Um, and it's a lovely little, very short experience. But I think the main um, the main joy of this is the what the hell is going on experimentation type stuff. Uh, it is rather cool. Okay, so that's it for this video on Ludum Dare 39, but do check out the playlist for other videos in this series. Um, do subscribe to the channel, Randomised User, as well, if you fancy being notified when new videos go live about game jams and all the best new indie. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.